Plans to regenerate the Kishorn Fabrication Yard in Wester Ross are moving forward after a contract was awarded to begin fully restoring the site's dry dock. The owners are hoping the yard will become a base for decommissioning North Sea oil rigs. Craig Anderson reports. The Kishon Yard has one of the largest dry docks in Europe and during its heyday in the 1970s, around 3,000 people were employed there building the giant Ninian oil platform for the North Sea. The Westeros Yard was also used during the construction of the Sky Bridge 25 years ago, but since then the gates on its dry dock haven't opened. However, the owners, Kishon Port Limited, have now awarded a contract to a Welsh marine engineering company, Harris Pye, to fully test the gates to see if they're still working. It's hoped the half a million pound scheme, which is being supported by Highlands and Islands Enterprise, will be a first step towards regenerating the yard so it can secure contracts to decommission old North Sea oil rigs. Local MP Ian Blackford says such work could potentially be worth millions of pounds. It's about making sure that the dock gates are fit for purpose. It's a pretty unique facility that we've got there in terms of the size of the dry dock and, of course, with the high water mark that we have in Kishorn as well. So it's about saying to the outside world that Kishorn is fit for purpose, it's ready to play its part in assisting the North Sea oil industry and indeed the offshore marine industry uh, by making sure that anyone can come in there, use the facilities there. It's understood talks have also been held between Kishon Port Limited and Liberty House, the new owners of the Fort William Aluminium Smelter, about working together on future industrial projects.